Central Illinois tomorrow is the final night of the high school football regular season. The Big 12 Conference saved the best for last. Our Football Friday Week 9 game of the week. Normal community hosting a Peoria High for the Big 12 title. Peoria High needs a win to share the title. If the Ironmen win, they are a back-to-back -back undefeated and outright Big 12 champ. Peoria High certainly will put us on a pressure on the Ironmen tomorrow night. Well, I think they do so many things uniquely, like their tempo on offense is outstanding. Uh, you really got to prepare for that. Uh, defensively, they really run a unique scheme that requires additional time to prepare for. Uh, special teams, they, they onside kick the ball. It's going to require a lot of time. They just really make you spend a lot of time on preparation. And if you're not prepared and you're not dialed in to what you need to execute, they're so well coached and, well t and talented that they'll take advantage of it and put big plays on you. Activity. In the middle on the Washington Panthers are looking for an undefeated and outright middle on title when they host Morton tomorrow night. Washington is now ranked 10th in the state, but they know they are hosting a dangerous and inspired Morton team. The Potters have won three in a row, and Morton needs a win tomorrow to get in the playoffs. You know, they've got speed, big play potential, so we're definitely going to be tested. We're going to have to show up. Probably one of the most dangerous teams around. You know, we make two goals every year, uh, the one being, the first one being uh, uh, middle Atlantic conference champions. Um, and then that sets you up again for uh, a good seat uh, in the first round of the playoffs. You know. Speaking of the playoffs, we'll be watching together 8 o'clock on Saturday night. The 1A through 8A playoff pairings come down. You can see it live on the Peoria Bloomington CW. That's Saturday at 8 p.m. Well, before tomorrow's big Morton Washington football game tonight, the Potters and Panthers meet in volleyball senior night at the Potter Dome for Potter senior setter Hannah Newkirk and all state star Carly Whitaker. And Hannah and Carly put on a show. They weren't going to lose on senior night. Hannah to Carly, and that's Newkirk to Whitaker for the kill, and the Newkirk and Whitaker family rooting them on. Later, it's going to be for Washington, a block by Addison Mueller down for a Panther point. Then Cammie Barth is going outside to Brooklyn Schulte for Washington, but the Potter is in control. Don't see this very often. The kill by the libero, Claire Sarisa, doing it all for the Potters. The libero kill. She'll be dreaming about that one. That's always fun. Isabel Mueller, a big hit here for the Potters. Then watch Sarisa doing her thing, this time more as a libero. The dig. It's going to be Newkirk to Whitaker to the Potter Dome floor. Great senior night for Morton. The Potters are 12 and 2 and outright middle line eye champs. Metamore and Dunlap playing at Renaissance Coliseum. This was fun to watch tonight. Watch the Eagles Libero Sadie Sawicki come flying in right here to Lydia Rogers to Tessa Arnott for the big swing. Tessa came out swinging big for Dunlap. Then Chloe Roberts is going to get a block down for an Eagles point. But Metamora is going to win this one in three. Sally Dunlap to Addie Pacia. Look at the swing by Pacia. Wow. Big hit by Addie. Then it's the 7 11 combo. Ella Miller, number seven, to Mia Stivers for the kill. You should go to 7 11 for the big goal. Yeah, Slurpee maybe. Uh, watch Pacia again. Addie Pacia hammers another one. Metamora, winner in three. Pacia's fun to watch. Semifinal tonight at the Heart of Illinois Volleyball Tournament in Mackinac. El Paso Gridley taking on Tremont. That's Taylor Langwin to Avril Smith for the kill. Tremont comes back. Lily Klaus to Nora Parsons, the freshman. Then it's going to be the senior to senior Klaus to Hannah Dennis. For a kill right here. El Paso Gridley kept fighting Aubrey Phillips, their high jump champ with a big swing and kill. But this one belongs to Tremont. Klaus outside to fellow senior Savannah Jost on match point. And Tremont is a winner in two. They advance to the championship to take on the winner of the Eureka D Max semifinal number two. Well, let's check out the highlights in that one. We'll start with Eureka. El Blunier had a great night. She finds Jesse Roki here for a Eureka kill. D Mac comes back. Dahlia De Jesus, a beautiful set right here to Kenzie Knowles for the attack. Then it's going to be Katie Whitson to De Jesus for the D Mac point. But Eureka is going to get the win. Jesse Roki is going to get a kill right here for Eureka. Then Blunier is going to set up Karis Wolf for a kill. And boy, I'll tell you what, Saturday night, Eureka and Tremont is going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Whoop the kill, Eureka is your winner. Hey, don't forget, tomorrow is the home opener for the Peoria Rivermen. Do you remember the last time we saw the Rivermen at Carver Arena? A wild celebration as the Rivermen won the SPHL President's Cup. They're defending that title with a home opener tomorrow, Saturday night. Anna Peplowski will be in town with her silver medal. Special weekend for the Peoria Rivermen. Get out and support the Rivermen. Best of luck to them. And congratulations to the Bloomington Bison. They earn franchise win number one tonight. The Bison win at Iowa 4-2.